Hello friends, welcome back to our packet tracer series. Today we are going to discuss about ACL. So let's start. ACL stands for Axis Control List. ACL stands for Axis Control List. So what is ACL means? ACL is a set of statement which allow or deny or select a network traffic from one router to another router. So this means ACL we use to allow or deny the traffic from one router to another router. In other words, we can say it is a filter which allow us to control traffic that is packets flowing in a network. And it is a layer 3 security. We can control flow of traffic from one router to another router. And there are a different types of ACL. So let's see. ACL we have numbered and name. And in name, we have two types and in numbered, we have two types. So let's see here. See, uh, in name, in number, we have two. One is standard, another is extended. Same thing in name also, we have two types. One is standard and one is extended. So let's discuss what is the difference between these two and then we will do configuration for uh, ACL in one router. So here is difference between the ACL, standard and ex, uh, extended ACL. Let's see difference between the standard and extended ACL. So first standard ACL. Standard ACL list number range from 1 to 99. So this range start from 1 to 99. And extended ACL number range start from 100 to 199. So means if we are configuring this standard or extended if we write number from 1 to 99 in between any number then it will treat as a standard and if we use as from 100 to 199 then it will be extended i will show you example we will see this one now we will go for next point and uh, here standard uh, acl will block the host network and subnet whereas here also we can block the host network subnet and services so we can block here services also and this standard ACL is implemented near the destination means close to the destination whereas this one we will implement close to the source and filter uh, filtering is done based on only source IP whereas here check source destination protocol and port number we use to apply the filtering and here all the services are blocked. In the standard ACL list, all services is blocked. Whereas in extended ACL list, we can block only particular services like selected services we can block, not all. If we want to block all, we can do all also, but we can select which one we want to block and we can do that one. So now let's move to the small lab. Here I prepare a scenario for the lab. This lab we are doing in standard ACL list by using numbered. Uh, so here what is our aim is we need to block the PC 192.168.1.2 to access to the server 192.168.2.2. So I want to block this PC to access this server. Okay. By using the access list that is our first list that is the standard by numbered. So by using this list we are going to block this computer to access this server. So how we will do? First we need to configure this router and this router with the this IP and this IP in one interface in F0 by 0 we need to configure 1.1.1 and in F0 by 1 we need to configure 192.168.1.1 same thing we will configure here in this router R2 F0 by 0 as 1.1.2 and port number F, uh, F0 by 1 as 192.168.2.1 so here I wrote the configuration config T and then host name R1 and the interface F0 by 0 and IP address this subnet mask and no shut. So this is the configuration for one port of the router R1 and the other one we will do F0 by 1 this one here interface F0 by 1 and then IP address 192.168.1.1 and 255.255.255.0 and this is subnet mask and this is no shut. This one from starting from here to here this is basic always we are doing this is just to assign the IP addresses to the interface of the router. Okay, same thing we will do here also for this router from here to here. 
this from here to here same thing for this for this port f0 by 0 we assign this ip and the port for this we assign this ip okay so no dots here right after that this two router need to communicate so we need to have any protocol in between like rip eigrp or ospf any we need to any we need to configure any pro, any one protocol so these two router can communicate each other so what i am doing i am doing the rip configuration so what i will write rip rip version 2 router rip version 2 no auto summary summary then network id network and whatever network id i have here i have 192.168 1.1 so what is the network id means this becomes zero so this is a network id here and uh, network id of 1.1.1 is 1.1.1.0 so this one you know finish for router one same thing we will do for router two router rip version two no auto summary then network and what is the network here 192.168 2.0 because we need to write network id so this become 2.0 and here again network 1.1.1 and 0 so this we finish for both router this is router 1 rip configuration and this is router 2 rip configuration after that we need to apply the access list so where we will apply the access list we will apply here in this place we will apply because we mentioned here we will apply to the implement closer to the destination so destination is this one so we will apply here so what we need to write we need to write axis list 10 any number we can write because we are using this one standard we are applying so we need to take any number from 1 to 99 so what i am taking i am taking as a 10 you can take any number no problem so axis list 10 then we will write what we need to do deny deny because i need to deny this computer so i will write deny this pc pc one example deny this pc i will write the deny host and the pc ip address 192.168.1.2 and then after that i need to deny this and remaining i need to allow so i will write access list 10 permit any means other than this permit and after that in the interface we need to apply so which interface we are going to apply this interface so i need to go to that interface interface f0 by 0 and then we need to apply this so how we will do we will write ip axis group 10 in because we are applying inside so see here i wrote here ip in so see here in this interface i am uh, applying so i wrote interface f0 by 0 then ip axis group what group number this same number we need to write 10 and in so i apply here in this place so generally what we will do we will write in the access list three steps first this one uh, deny permit and then we will select the interface which interface this one and then group to apply that one so this is our three steps we use to apply in the uh, to apply in our uh, router so this is a basic configuration for standard access list uh, that numbered one because we are using the number here see number we use here where here 10 so now i am going to open my packet tracer series packet tracer then we will do this same lab okay so see here i already designed the lab here our aim is to to block this pc to communicate to this router uh, to this server so and everything is done i i copy the configuration here and here so now let me copy this configuration and paste in the router okay so i will copy this all configuration and then i will paste this all in our router so this one i copy and i will open this router and let me maximize this window then i will go in the enable mode then i will paste the configuration here see all configuration came so nothing wrong everything is okay i will save the configuration so this configuration is saved then i will copy the second configuration i will copy from here to here first i will not copy the axis list okay first i need to show that this pc is pinging to this server then again i will apply this uh, axis list and i will show you this is a pc cannot communicate to this server that's why i am not copying the axis list configuration only i am copying the configuration of the server interface as well as the routing protocol configuration so i will open this uh, router uh, cli then i will go in the enable mode then i will paste the configuration so see all configuration is pasted and then i will exit this mode then i will save the mode so this mode uh, this all done 
and here router is ready now we are going to open this pc and going to ping this one can we can ping or not we will see so let me go here let me ping here see see reply is coming i am pinging from this computer 192.168.1.2 to other computer 2.2 so it is reply is coming so no issue it is working fine now we need to apply the acl so i will copy the acl this configuration this configuration and i will paste in the router 2 so i will go in this router then i will go in the configuration mode then i will paste this configuration so see this configuration pasted and then i will exit this mode and i will save the configuration so now this one is done uh, i will open the same computer and i will try to ping again same thing let me ping again see reply is not coming reply is uh, giving destination host unreachable see this one destination host unreachable means this uh, pc uh, unable to communicate to the uh, server so with the access list we are uh, access of the computer 192.168.1.2 to access to the our uh, server so hence proof our lab is successful done so in next video we are going to do uh, extended acl so subscribe to our channel like our uh, video and share with your friends see you bye